Now, the question of drinking with the meal, uh, there is a theory that drinking at least large amounts uh, will dilute the digestive process, the digestive juices, and is not conducive. Some yogic systems encourage drinking some liquids with the food. I would suggest again that you must find this balance. Uh, if you find that your digestive system is not functioning strongly, you're not digesting well the food, try not drinking, but drinking a glass of water before the meal. Avoid salt so that you're not getting thirsty, and then drink something after about three or four hours, but not with the meal. After the meal, I would suggest light activity. I would not suggest either heavy activity nor immediately to lie down but for half an hour to an hour, a walk, sweeping the floor, washing the dishes, singing a song, speaking with someone, playing music, some kind of light activity which helps the digestive process. Too much activity will take blood away from the, the stomach. Lying down and sleeping will do the same, will stop the digestive process. We need light activity. So that very briefly, are the guidelines which uh, I would suggest to you concerning uh, the eating process. I would suggest that from here on in that you work with that questionnaire and that you begin to discover what is best for you and what gives you energy. The, I would just repeat, the basic guidelines are eat <coughs> as much live food as possible. We, sh we must re remember that what we are actually eating is sunlight. There is no other source of energy than sunlight. Sunlight is taken by the leaves of the plant and the photons are used to combine water and carbo uh, carbo carbon dioxide to create sugar and then, and then carbohydrates and then fats and proteins. So all of that energy which is then released in our body is that we take that sugar and that carbohydrate into our body and we break that bond. That's called metabolism. We break that bond and we release that light energy from the sun and we use that in various forms as nerve energy, as heat energy, as thinking energy, as movement. Uh, and so all of the energy comes from the sun and the, the first source then is the plants. Meat would be a secondary source in which the plant is eaten and then we take it from there. So the basic source is live plants. That's where that's that's light energy contained in that area. Any questions about the process of eating and these basic dietary guidelines? Ferris. shops you can buy um, vitamins and just general supplements that come in a pill form yeah. which is not very natural mm -hmm. but it's in a health shop I was wondering if you had any okay, it's in a health shop, shop. <laughs> 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 um, my stance is that it would be best for us to live without vitam vitamin supplements and mineral supplements however it is frequent that I would suggest it to someone whose health has deteriorated as, as, a, as a form of medicine, as a way of getting themselves back into balance. And once they're in balance, to stop again. Now some of them, which have low, low dosages of vitamins, are, are probably quite natural, from natural sources. Wherever we see high dosages, we can be fairly sure that they're probably synthetic. But e I would even suggest in some cases synthetic vitamins uh, if I believe that that will strengthen the nervous system of the person for a period of time so that he can get back on his feet and then stop again. I'm not very fanatical about that. So, in general, uh, I don't suggest that persons live on vitamins or mineral supplements. But in special cases, which are, is a problem, to use it as a healing process only. Any other questions? Fasting we're going to talk about next week. We'll speak. We'll spend the whole next session on fasting. Any other questions? Okay, I have a. So we can close the various instruments um, because there are a few people who want to participate in a class which begins at seven thirty.